Today we're going to tie a nymph. Uh, it's a long uh, time since I tied a nymph now. It's maybe the third fly I tied or something was a nymph. Uh, and I think it's time to uh, fill up the nymph uh, boxes again. Uh, I got like about uh, 3000 nymphs in my boxes. Um, so it's <laughs> quite full now. But I want to show you um, one special fly. Um, I got this pattern from uh, a friend in Czech Republic called uh, Lubus Rosa. He's a yeah, former world champion and uh, he won the world championship uh, in 2014 in Czech when I was there. Um, really nice guy and like yeah, five, four, four or five years ago he, he sent me a, a bunch of nymphs uh, that I wanted to try. Um, and I had extremely su success with them. Um, it's a. Uh, I think the nymph is good in yeah, clear water. Um, typical uh, light bottom, um, sand and not that dark uh, bottom, but sand and stuff like that. Because uh, the nymph is quite uh, light itself, um, so. Uh, the color is uh, like a beige uh, dun color, um, so uh, and it's on hot spots and uh, pink and stuff. So it's uh, it's not, I, I actually fished with this fly in the river of Trysil in Norway uh, for grayling, and even if the, the bottom there is not um, um, sand and all that stuff, it's more rocks and more dark bottom. Uh, this fly actually worked pretty well there. So. I think that is because of the pink rib we use. Um, so for the materials, um, I'm using um, this is an SLF dubbing by uh, David Watton. It's a squirrel dubbing. Uh, looks like this, or you can use uh, the hands nymph dubbing, check nymph dubbing. Uh, one of these, but. The, um, this is the color I want to use, the beige one. Uh, so tan color, it's like a bleached ging ginger it's called. Uh, or I use the, let me see, number 515 in the in the check dubbing. So just a tan color um, for the body. Uh, for the tail I'm using, as I said before, I'm wasting my cochlear feathers. <laughs> But it's it's okay uh, for the tail. Um, I'm using a pink. This is quite pink uh, for the rib. That's kind of a trigger, I think, in the fly. Uh, let me see. And then for the uh, for the uh, for the hot spot, uh, the thorax. I'm using the. Yeah, it's like a peacock ice dub, uh, number forty six in the hands uh, series spectra dub. Um, and I'm using a normal black tiny thread. Um, for the beads, uh, for the bead of the nymph, I got all my beads sorted like this um, in different packs. I got like three, three different packs. So here they are in different sizes and colors, etc. It's a slotted bead, uh, and I'm using a hanak hook, uh, a competition hook. Uh, it's barbless. Uh, normally I tie this fly on on the 16 hook because uh, and I'm using a 3.0 bead head I think that's the best way but today I'm going to tie it on a size 14 uh, so it's more easy for you guys to see how uh, how the fly looks because 16 is quite small um, but uh, it fishes in size 14 also as well but uh, I like my nymphs quite small uh, when I fish for trout and grilling um, especially in the in the autumn and in the spring the nymphs can be a bit bigger, but uh, during the summertime in August, September, I like the nymphs more small. So let's uh, let's do this. So uh, we can start. Okay. So I fastened the bead on the size 14 henna hook. Uh, as I said, this is a 3.0. Uh, you can also use a 2.8. But uh, if you want, I, I normally don't use this fly as the anchor. Uh, normally as the second dropper or the third dropper. So we tie in the thread. Okay. Let 
like that. Um, then I'm taking out the cochlear feather. Just don't want the tail to be too long because then the nymph uh, you want the, you want the nymph to sink fast, but uh, if the tail is too long, the nymph sinks slow. So be aw be aware of that. Then I'm cutting off the. Okay. It doesn't matter for that tail here actually that <laughs> how if it's spread or not, it's underwater anyways and um, the fish don't matter. So actually this tail was a bit too long, I can see that now. So normally I would uh, take it up and redo this, but let's just continue. Uh, you understand the point. Okay, so I'm using the check dub as I said. But first, we're gonna tie in the or the pink uh, rib. So a little trick is to wet, wetten the thread by licking on it. So I'm doing this, and now it's wet because then it's so much easier to work with this. It, do, it doesn't split and stuff like that. So just fasten in the pink rib like that. Then we. I'm using this one. That's the 515. This rib. Um, so don't make the body too thick. So it's really easy to dub with this uh, this dub. It's, uh, it's type of squirrel dubbing this is as well. Um, so just make it. Like that, a bit thicker in the front, and then you want to rib. I'm making I'm making a little hot spot at the back, as you can see, like that, and then I'm twisting the thread so it's getting thinner, and then I'm ribbing my way to the front. Like that. So the pink rib is now uh, it's now covering the body, uh, and then we're gonna use the spectral dub, uh, and then I'm using the, the 46. This one, it's like a um, peacock colored, a bit darker than, than the normal peacock actually. It's more like a, yeah, a color mix between peacock and yeah, what can I say brown maybe. Okay, I'm not taking just a small piece. wrapping this up in the front. As you can see now the bead, a lot of people is fastening the beads before they start to tie the fly but now my bead is, is really it's not moving at all because of all the materials so don't waste your time doing that. Um, and then to, at the end I'm just wrapping this up with some head cement uh, on the thread as I always do can take a few wraps like that and then take your whip finish or your dubby needle or etc to close it up like that. It's so easy. So while explaining this fly I used five minutes to tie this fly. It's quite fast for a so good nymph. And, uh, I actually always have 
like almost always have this fly with the Batman fly I showed you earlier uh, on my rig in um, in clear water and the bottom is light body on this fly like like a tan bottom sand and stuff like that so so this is the nymph um, I don't know the name of it but uh, let's just call it the Lubozilosa fly uh, and he, <laughs> he will be happy so this is a um, this trick with the pink here is it's a check uh, it's a check um, uh, what can I say like a check, check trick they use pink rib uh, on their flies uh, and they won a lot of world championships so it's extremely good and yeah try it out and give me a feedback of what you think about the fly that would be nice and uh, give me a follow so thank you for watching happy new year.